So in this activity, we're going to have a go at using the pens and highlighter. Now, it doesn't matter if you um, have a stylus or not. You can do this with your finger um, if you need to. However, one thing you do want to make sure if you're doing this for the very first time is that when we're here in draw, we come all the way over here to this guy here, the little squiggly line. And we want to make sure that this draw with touch is on. So that needs to be that bright purple color. And if you are using a stylus, you might want to check that and make sure that you choose the picture that best represents how you're holding your pencils, if you're left-handed or right-handed. And that will really help OneNote to make sure it does things nice and accurate. So <clears throat> let's have a look. So we've got a little maze here and we want to use a pen to find our way out. So here are our pens. I've got them located along the top here. And there are some pretty cool ones here. But this one here is our highlighter and we're going to come back to that in a second. So we want to focus on these really fine tip ones. So if I select the very first one, it pops up. And just quickly to show you, I basically put my stylus or my finger on the page and I can draw. Now, if I want to change anything in that pen, I can click on it again once I've clicked on it the first time. And here we can change how thick or thin the pen will be. Okay, so if it needs to be nice and thick, if we're maybe we're drawing or maybe if we're writing down here, we want it a little bit thinner. I can choose a color. I can also choose some of these really cool rainbow and galaxy pens as well. I can also click down here on more ink and find a color that I really like. So let's have a go at this first activity. And I'm going to choose, uh, let's think, maybe this green one. I like this green color here. So I'm going to click back down so I can have access to that pen. And just like I'm going to, I just want you to draw from the beginning of the maze and just to find your way out. So either with a stylus or with your finger, it will work both ways. So we click down and we keep holding. And it doesn't matter if I stop and lift my pen. That's okay. We just pop it straight back down. And we go again until we find our way out. And there we go. Perfect. So let's have a look at using the highlighters. And everything is pretty much exactly the same with the highlighters. I can click on it, tap to open, and choose one. And the colors are a little bit different. We don't have some of those um, fun galaxy or rainbow ones. But that's because we're highlighting. If we want to add extra ones, so we're doing lots of like drawing stuff and we need lots of multiple colors readily available or we're highlighting with different colors we can come up here and we can select down and choose to add another one so i can add another highlighter maybe this highlighter is green so now in my little toolbar i have a yellow one and i have a green one so for this activity i'm going to use the yellow one and when i scroll down We've got another activity underneath there. So what I want you to do is using a highlighter to identify names of animals from um, the list. So you're going to, with either your finger or your stylus, you're going to run that over the top of anything that you think is an animal. And what you'll see is that unlike the pen, and I'll just quickly explain that. So if I grab a pen and do the same thing, the problem is, is that I can't see it anymore. And what that means is that the highlighters are transparent, which means we can see through them. And that really helps. So one more time, we'll show you that. We go over the top and it's kind of just like the pen, but it still lets us see what is on the page. So I want you to go through the rest of that list and highlight anything that is an animal.